haven't been splintered oh, yet. Oh, okay. Uh, I haven't been Casey yet. All right. So let's bust some crime. Oh man, he sounds like a bit of a, a surfer bro there. I don't remember him sounding like that in the show. The term douche. He sounded is... more like a like a psychopath in the the cartoon. What do you think, Christine? <laughs> Welcome to the Gen X Wing Plays, hosted by Jamie, myself, and Charlie Brown's teacher. And uh, <laughs> we're doing uh, level 10? Level 10. Level 10. Ninja Turtles, uh, Ninja Turtles, Turtles Shredder's, Shredder's Revenge. Revenge. All right, I'm going to get that name Dude, you're getting out. better I'm at getting that. Better it's at like that. ready to yeah. believe. That's yeah. your ready to believe. <laughs> what is that? What are you talking about? Ready to believe? What is ready that? Ready to believe? What yeah, is what that? is that? I we'll talk know. about that later. When I know. Were you want to talk about it right now? Actually, while we're playing, let's talk about yeah? it. Yeah, okay. because uh, I gotta hit play here. So while I mean, we're talking about it, the same as the five hundred first. Um, if the if the Ghostbusters kind of costuming charity group didn't exist, mm -hmm. this probably wouldn't be happening. Yeah, uh, but it is, so it does exist. So I am doing it. Uh, a, a a movie accurate. Or like of that level accuracy, Ghostbusters costume has always been kind of on my bucket list. Right. It's a dream costume for me, and it's happening. I got got my hands on a proton pack, the Neutrona one, some other odds and ends. Still waiting on a bunch of pieces. It might. I mean, as as of this recording, it's not. It's we're on the fifteenth of October, is it? Uh, so yes. It might. There's a possibility that it might actually happen for Halloween, which was not. Oh, planned. that's a, that'd be a lovely surprise, eh? It would be really cool. If it doesn't happen, I'm not going to be uh, too broken up about it. That's okay. Oh, that, that. that was never really the goal. Yeah. It's just things are arriving a lot quicker than I thought they would. Uh, but yeah, I've I've done a bunch of research on on what what components make up a Ghostbusters costume in the movies, and I've started kind of collecting pieces there's there's unfortunately there's there's not a lot of making you can do um and i've i've always regretted not getting in on the hasbro the haslab proton pack because it was basically hasbro doing a like a, a kickstarter right. type thing for yeah. the pack and i missed out on it and i i regretted it in a big way but i managed to get my hands on one i found one in canada that wasn't insane scalper price uh, so she actually, I'll have to find the name of the shop because uh, I would like to give a shout out to them. Their service was great, uh, their communication was awesome too, um, and they're Canadian, which is a huge plus yeah. in terms of price, shipping, all that stuff. It is like hugely important as Canadians because you know I don't think the Americans realize how difficult it is to get some of these things. Yeah, and it's rough, and like. Some some American shops don't even ship to Canada. They just won't. So having an American P.O. box is sometimes a thing. Yes. For, for Canadians. We have a few people like Posty, a friend of ours, yep. who has a P.O. box and stuff. And there's, there's people and, and shops in Blaine and all along the border in Washington that do... They have to do a very brisk business just offering P.O. boxes yeah. for Canadians to have things shipped to Canada. Um, but yeah, it's it's kind of crazy, dude. Um, it's crazy that it's happening. I like I said, I was so happy to find a Canadian shop that had one. Um, but yeah, I've the, now the the Hasbro pack is technically a Ghostbusters Afterlife pack. I've done a couple minor mods so far to make it more like a Ghostbusters one pack. Right. Uh, but it's the the Ghostbusters group seems to be a lot more welcoming in terms of what your costume is right. or, and things like that like they don't have hard requirements like the 501st uh which is really cool it's it's super relaxing that way yeah like it's just it seems like they're just coming out to have fun yeah exactly uh, which is uh, it's i'm looking forward to it just seeing the differences in the group getting to hang out with uh, really enthusiastic and passionate Ghostbusters fans who want to just do good for the uh, for the neighborhood, the community. Yeah, that's that's such a an awesome way to kind of get get involved and and put the costume to good use. You know, outside of once or twice a year at Halloween and whatever else. Yeah. Uh, same as Star Wars, oh, right? Sorry. Oh, I'm gonna. Oh, I'm, no. I'm just going down the 
Hang on. Let's see if I can get you here. I think I can get you. We're gonna try. We're gonna try. Come on. Yeah. Oh, look at you. Coming in clutch. Casey oh. Jones with the save. Ferris Bueller comes <laughs> in again. <laughs> Yeah, so, I mean, as of the recording, like, we literally were just talking about turning it into a YouTube series today of assembling the costume and, and joining the group and doing events and that kind of thing. And I, I feel like we've landed on a name. Yes, I totally uh, agree. Ready to believe. Um, it's, yeah, it, I'm... I'm happy that you're involved because you you have so much experience doing this stuff with Outer Rim Rookie. Yeah. Uh, which is kind of the vibe I want to give off as well. Just kind of like helping people um, if they want to get into the costume as well. How to join the group. What what that is like. Yeah. Um, I got yeah. I, I feel like your your Outer Rim Rookie videos have helped so many people. Really? And. I'm I'm sure like we've we've heard from people directly. Oh I yeah, know. I remember um, Scott talking like with a buddy of ours, Scott Bramer, yeah. who's always talking about. Um, well, not always. I shouldn't say always. Uh, he he told me how he like, seen my show and he saw our interview with Terry years ago. I'm yeah. trying to join. Oh my god, uh -oh. I suck at this game. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Oh, 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 I'm no. not gonna help it. No, no, just no, let no, me no, die. I no, no. You're not gonna die on me. Don't you die on me. <laughs> oh yeah. my god. <laughs> oh, good. Ferris Bueller and get Cameron. My, get my super back just in case. Yeah, that's really good for clearing bounties out when you need them to buy. Oh, nice. Nice. I mean, yeah, these big it, monsters are mean. Yeah, they are. Oh, see, I'm trying to dodge them. I know where they're landing, but I keep forgetting the, the, <laughs> right. the sky part. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how much, how much more I can say about the the Ready to Believe series, but I'm super excited. Like I said, it's a dream costume. Maybe, maybe it'll help people. Man, these guys are mean too. What I think is I got wrong with me? Oh no, no monsters, no monsters! Oh, <laughs> no, no, no! Don't you die on me, Splinter! We got you. Okay, there. Okay, we got pizza here okay, for both of some. us. Excellent. Yeah, All get right, your super. Get a power. All right, we're good to go. All right. Oh, yes, I remember there was a robotic turtle. Yeah. I was wondering if that's who it was. Yeah. <laughs> Did we, <laughs> we both just, just super we just him? Go ham on him with the supers. And try and sneak a taunt in. Good stuff. I'm going to sneak a taunt in All here. Right. Oh, man, he got me from so far away with that. Oh, oh. Oh, he's shielded right now. Okay. I'll hide behind the TV here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a bomb there. Oh, an unexploded bomb. Oh god. Oh, jeez, I saw that too. Okay, get my super in there. Yeah, I I should say thank you, Rob, for helping me out with the series. I'm no really happy to have you uh, as a part of it, both for your your experience and your enthusiasm. You get to learn along with me. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. Who knows? Maybe I'll want to put one in myself together. Uh, right? Put one myself. That, one together that'd myself. be fun. Yeah. yeah, that would be a ton of fun. I'm just, it's, it's, I'm really looking forward to Got the kind of the costume assembly process being a little more relaxed. Yeah. Than the 501st. Oh, Legion it's very stuff. different, eh? Yeah. It's just like they're not measuring yeah. the screw to the, to no. the shoulder piece <laughs> or whatever. Shout out to Ryan. Uh, yeah. I've been talking Ryan with Ryan uh, when I when I decided to pull the trigger on it, and I I think the first thing I did when I found out that I could actually get my hands on the Hasbro Proton Pack mm -hmm. is I messaged Ryan saying, hey, I can get this pack, is it approvable? And he just laughed at me. <laughs> <laughs> you have a pack, right? Yeah, you're approved. Yeah, he's, oh, <laughs> the Ghostbusters are not the 501st, dude. <laughs> like, okay, good to know. <laughs> and that's not a slight against the 501st whatsoever. No, not because at all. Because um, I think we'll talk about this in the actual show. Yeah. But it's like there are very strong standards to the 501st, Rebel Legion, and, yep. and those things. But they do it to for the immersion. And, yeah, um, they so want we, the... To the movie look because like, could be in the movie that's what brings in money for the charities yeah it's like I, Nick the guy we did a whole video on this years a month ago 
Sorry. Oh, yeah. Between a month about, and a year ago. It was uh, <laughs> it, between those two. We about staying in character. Staying in character. Yeah. And it really does. I mean, you worked for Disney. Yes. And it's, it really does help. So the Ghostbusters are a lot more... Uh, the, the characters themselves in the movie are a lot more chill, a lot more oh, yeah. down to earth. They're very blue collar in yeah. a lot of ways. And so they have their own unique style and they're yeah. not, you know, worried about the measurements of your pockets so no. much. I mean, you gotta look like a Ghostbuster. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, they seem to be pretty welcoming in that respect. Yeah. Uh, again, I don't have much exposure with them yet. Uh, that's that's definitely to come. Yes. But that's the process. That's the dream. Yeah. Ryan's been helpful. Yeah. So thank you, Ryan. Um, yeah, and I'm I'm really excited to join their ranks. All right. And I'm really excited to move to level eleven here. Yeah, eleven, that's, right? That's level ten yeah. down. Done. Yeah, we're on eleven. We're I'm not going to say we're in the home stretch yet. But, but you know, it's something here. Like we were focused so much on talking about Ghostbusters that I did worse. <laughs> not because of the Ghostbusters. I'm talking just the fact that I wasn't paying attention. I was so I was so interested in the story. Honestly, though, that you I feel saved like me I did three times. Well. <laughs> like you had Ferris, Cameron. And who's this Ferris's uh, girlfriend? The girl? Uh, crap, what was her name? Oh my god. I don't remember. I, why can't I remember? I remember why. Hang was on. It? Maybe it's the Ferrari I'm thinking of. Yeah, I, I, dude, I was thinking Ferrari. Who's Ferris Bueller's girlfriend? Mia. Mia, Sarah, but like, that's, that's the, the actress. That's the, that's actress. the actress. What was her, her character's name? Sloan. Uh, Sloan. Sloan. There we go. Sloan, my dear. Hey. Oh, God, yeah. For, how'd you get forget Sloan? <laughs> so, anyways. <laughs> Uh, so, where do we find it? Where do we find the show again? Well, the name we landed on, which I'm super happy with, is Ready to Believe. <laughs> Ready to Believe. Uh, we we went back and forth on a lot yes. of different potential names. We tried to get Ecto in there somewhere. Yeah, or like Rookie or Recruit. Yeah. Or yeah, like something to do with Firehouse. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Ready to Believe. That's I'm pretty sure it says Ready to Believe on the side of the Ecto One. Yes. Based on we're Ready to Believe you yeah. from the commercial. That's awesome. See, that's where it all ties in. It's great. And, uh, and she's still glowing. Yeah. yeah. Very proud. Where can we find you? Uh, Adam Room Rookie. Adam Rookie Show on the same channel as well as the podcast. Uh, wherever you listen to and download podcasts. Uh, the Generation X Wing podcast. Movie reviews. TV reviews. Star Wars stuff. Lots of fun. And, Hawkins um, Cheesies coming soon. Hawkins Cheesies. Oh yeah, we're, we're getting Hawkins Cheesies for pizza. By the way. Sweet. Yeah, there you go. See, okay. She's in. I mean, what, what, what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.